Hi YouTube, I'm just doing a rerun of tutorials. Um, my mic was a bit messed up before, so I'm just going to redo it for all of you guys that like weren't sure what to do. If you don't know what NXE2 God is, it's only for JTAGs for a start. But what it allows you to do is change it from um, just being on your hard drive and still needing to insert a disc to like a game on demand, like you get on Xbox Live. So you'll never have to insert the disc again. So you could say rent out a game and install it to your hard drive and run NXE2 God and you'll have that game forever on your JTA on your JTAG because this doesn't work for normal Xbox it's just it just won't read it and won't find the file it just won't work um, anyway before you start we'll have to go into UAC control settings because when you drag the um, NXE2 God files into export 360 it just won't work because this is because the UAC control settings it will normally be here but you have to change it here after you've done everything and installed um, NXE2 God you can just put it back up here and click OK but when you do do this it will prompt for a restart so you will have to put this on favourites so you can come back to it anyway once you've done that you um, plug your transfer cable um, into your hard drive and into your computer there is a USB method but um, I'm not going to do it at the moment. I might do it in the future. At the moment, I'm just doing it via the transfer cable method. So once your hard drive is plugged in through transfer cable to your PC, you start up Export 360. Also, both of these um, files, all that you need, will be in the download description. Um, like that is my hard drive. So you click OK, and then you go on Device Five, Partition Three, the one with load, um, the one with content. The one with loads of zeros, the code 99, the 0008 file, and then because I've already done this and this is a rerun, um, NXE2 God's already installed. But you, what you do when you do this, if you have trouble doing this, um, you'll have to do the UAC control settings, like I said, because it's preventing you from pasting it in there um, without your knowledge or something. So you will have to change that um, UAC controls if this isn't working. Um, but what you'd do is put it in here, it would paste into here, and then you'd have NXE2 God on your JTAG. So then I'll just show you what it's like when you get on to your Xbox. Okay, now that we're on Xbox, we're going to be installing Call of Duty 4 to our hard drive to change it to like a game on demand through NXE2 God. So now you'll go here, you'll install the game. I'll just skip this bit to 100% so you won't have to watch through this. Okay, now it's completed. now you'll press continue and now you won't be able to play the game you'll boot it up when the disc is out I'm just now I've ejected the game there's no game in it just to show you what it'd normally be like you'd normally um, if you try and do this you'd click here and there'll be no disc in and it'll give you this um, insert called you get um, for game disc so what you do is you go on all games and then you'll find NXE2 God you'll boot that up play the game and then it will locate your Call of Duty 4 like it says there and it press A to convert file we have successfully converted the file and then we exit it we go back out and now there's still no disk in the disk tray so I'm just going to close it now to show you there is absolutely no disk in there see no disk so now we go on to game library and click Call of Duty 4 now and instead of giving us the insert disk now you can play it like a game on demand and you won't need a disc ever again really okay thank you for watching this video please like comment and subscribe